Hello everyone. Um, I know I've promised a couple different videos, um, two in particular that I can think of that I have yet to deliver on. One on a more serious topic that I've talked about that a few people know what it is. Um, and another just like tutorials on sonnets and stuff. And I do want to get to those. Um, I've just been so busy that doing videos where I have to think has been rather difficult. I'm sorry I keep slipping here. Um, anyway, my webcam is sliding. It's kind of I don't know, it's on its way out, it's getting kind of worn out. Anyway, um, and I want to do those, but I just, I need to do them at a time when I can take the time to think about what I'm doing. So, um, I have just kind of a fun little thing. A lot of people do, like, those 20 questions videos and everything, so I came up with some questions of my own for my subscribers and anyone else who comes across this. I would really love to hear your answers. And these are all pretty much related on to YouTube, so these are my 10 YouTube questions. So. I will answer them for you as I ask them. Um, my first question, what first attracted you to posting videos on YouTube? Um, you know, what kind of gave you the idea, like, hey, this is something I want to do. Uh, it's funny that I'm asking that and then going to say I'm not really sure. Um, it was maybe the third week I was at school here and I just started watching more and more. And uh, I started out watching, you know, just goofy videos. Um, I don't remember how I first saw um, like what my first video was, but yeah. And then I kind of came across the whole video blogging thing. Um, Renetto was kind of one of the first that I really started watching, and then Boheme and just a couple others. And I thought, hey, this is kind of cool. So I just decided I wanted to give it a try. And then I discovered that the Max down in the computer lab downstairs had webcams. So that's where I made my first video, my first few videos, and then was able to make a few in other different ways. Since then, got my own webcam and that whole long story. So. That's how I got started. I really don't know what my first reason was, so I guess it's almost an unfair question, but I think some people could have a really interesting answer to that. All right, my second question. How long did you have an account before you started posting videos? I had an account just for watching and subscribing to channels uh, for probably two months or something like that before I started posting videos. Um, I should check, but yeah, I'm really not sure. It was a little while, actually. When I first made the account, I never intended to post videos. I just got it to watch videos. So I guess that's kind of the second part of the question. You know, When you made your account, was it because you were going to post videos, or did you make it just to watch? Um, then my second one. What was your original goal when you began posting your videos, and do you feel you were meeting that goal? I guess mine was to do my poetry. Um, that I just thought that would be an excellent audience for it. So I think I am meeting that goal, and I've discovered uh, that I enjoy doing a lot of ah, other things with it as well. Um, so yeah. I'm meeting that goal, and I've also kind of expanded on it. I'm really sorry about moving the camera. I should just stop this. I will next time that it starts sliding, which is right now. Huh, I didn't stop it. Anyway, I'm going to hold this. Um, so I asked that one. My next question, um, do, you, do you think you ever will be, or do you even think you would want to be YouTube famous? I'm really not sure I would want to be. Um, I just, I think there's so much drama and everything involved in it. I kind of like keeping it small. I wouldn't mind having more subscribers than I have now, but I don't know about wanting to be on, like, the most subscribed list. I think that that would change too much. Uh, there would be too much pressure. I don't actually think I'd enjoy it, and I don't think I quite have the oomph required for that. I'm just not as out there. But, um, so yeah, that's my answer to that question. <sighs> oh, and then I like this question. This is the first one that came to my mind. Um when I thought about doing this, and that is, what is your YouTube guilty pleasure? What are the videos that you watch that you don't tell anybody about? Um, or just, you know, videos you watch that you kind of are embarrassed about, you find them kind of silly. I don't want to answer this question, and that's why I'm asking it, because I want to hear if anybody else has a silly answer. I suppose I could say Lonely Girl, I do watch those sometimes, that's not nearly as embarrassing. <laughs> One of the first uh, videos I would just watch, you know, off and on, um, and I still watch, like, if I want to be in a, want to get put in a good mood. Christian Bale fan music videos, like, just videos where people put pictures of him up to songs or Newsies videos, I love those. And they're all over on YouTube, too. Uh, Newsies is a movie with Christian Bale in it. If you don't know, he's an actor. You should know. Uh, he's in Batman Begins, The Prestige... Um, a lot of movies. New World, I haven't seen that one. American Psycho, that's a horrible movie, but the acting is really good. 
uh, he's my favorite actor and uh, some of those videos they just make me smile and that is my YouTube guilty pleasure it's actually really embarrassing um, what is more addicting to you watching videos or posting videos and I think for me it's a little bit of both uh, I really love the comments I get from posting the videos um, and kind of putting that out there and at the same time I really like watching videos of people that I know and everything and Christian Bale music videos <laughs> Uh, so, to me, they're both pretty bad. Um, I think that if I had to give up one, I'd probably give up posting, but I, I don't know. That, that's a really hard call. Maybe I'd give up watching. I really don't know. That's a tough one. I just gave myself a tough question. Alright, and then, are there any aspects of your life that you intentionally kind of keep out of YouTube? Like, uh, you know, do you try and keep your political opinions out, or do you have religious opinions that you very intentionally keep out of your videos or anything? I don't think there is anything like that in my life. I think I avoid certain topics to avoid drama, but I would bring them up if there was a proper time for them. So I don't think I really hide any aspects of my life, but it would kind of be understandable if people do. Um, so I'm curious about that. And then, um, how do you first bring up to people that you know that you post videos on YouTube, or do you bring it up at all? Do family members and friends know about your videos? Um, and if they do, how do you bring it up? Just in casual conversation or what? Uh, I guess for me, um, it depends on the person. There are a few people I haven't told and probably never will. And then I'll bring it up in casual conversation or, um, yeah, if they're, I posted one on a topic they think I think they would find interesting. Um, I haven't paid that much attention to how I bring it up, but I'd be interested in knowing. It's kind of something I bring up pretty sheepishly, I'll admit that. I don't know why, but I get embarrassed about it. Um, and a lot of people at school, no, nobody at school knows that I post these videos. Um, I even keep it from my roommate, although I think she knows because my mom and I have talked about it in front of her, but anyway. Uh, but the family and friends that I know are pretty supportive of it. Most of them. Some of them laugh at me. Uh, and then what do your friends and family think of your videos? Oh, well, I just answered that one. The family that knows are pretty supportive. My dad bought me the webcam I'm using now um, because he knew I was into it. And my mom has started posting videos. And my friend Tim has started posting videos, which if you want to see it, it's on my favorites. Um, everybody should check him out. Uh, so yeah, that's about all I have for you. Uh, I would love it if people would answer these questions for me and be really interested in hearing them. So there you go.